everyone, my name is Callie. I'm one of the Aquarius here at Gulf Area Marine Adventure Park. And today I'm going to be educating you guys on gophers, but I'm not talking about the furry kind, I'm talking about gopher tortoises. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So gopher tortoises are just one of five different species of tortoise found right here in the U.S. Specifically where you're going to find gopher tortoises are pretty much anywhere in the southeast state but the majority you're gonna find these guys is actually gonna be right here in Florida. Now down here in Florida, they inhabit uh, forests, uh, coastal dunes, really anywhere where the soil is very, very sandy, which is very good for digging for these guys, and pretty much where the trees aren't really close together at all. That way they can get at the very low vegetation that these guys tend to munch on. Now gopher tortoises get their name because of their ability to dig large, deep burrows just like gophers. They have shovel-like feet that help them dig, and their back legs are strong and sturdy to hold them in place while they dig these very extensive burrows. Now, like other tortoise species, these guys are herbivorous, meaning they eat plants. So out in the wild, they primarily munch on grasses, flowers, and cacti, but they're also labeled as opportunistic eaters because they've been seen eating carrion, dead insects, and even small crabs. But here at the Gulfarium, we have tailored a very specific diet for them, making sure that they get all the nutrition that they need. Uh, so here we'll give them dandelion greens. We'll also give them like collards, uh, prickly pear cacti is also what you see in this little plate right here. Uh, we'll also give them fruits like strawberries, apples, tomatoes. And then last but not least, we have these very specific little pellets. They're called tortoise pellets. Basically, all the vitamins and nutrients that they don't get from the food that we give them, they get from these little pellets. It's kind of like what you give your cat or dog, but specifically made for tortoises. Because they eat so much greenery, they get most of their water from those plants that they eat. They rarely need to go out of their way to drink water and will only do so during a drought when water storing plants may not be plentiful. Now, although these tortoises are rather small, they can live for a fairly long time, up to 40 to 50 years in the wild, and up to 60 years or more under professional care. And because they are so long-lived, they can take up to 16 years to mature and reproduce, and with less than 800,000 tortoises left out in the wild, they are a threatened species and are protected under Florida state law. The reason why is because they are a keystone species. So pretty much what that means, is uh, they're a very, very important part of their native community. So what these guys do for their native community is they actually build these very long, extensive burrows, and that actually helps to shelter other animals from, say, predators, also helps to shelter them from the harsh uh, temperatures of Florida and whatnot. And then also it helps provide basically a place to sleep during hibernation. So these guys are very, very important to up to uh, 350 different species of animal. So we definitely don't want to lose these guys. Now Gopher Tortoise Burrow can be more than 20 feet deep and 50 feet long. There was one burrow down here in Florida that was uh, measured and it was actually 65 feet long and about 26 feet deep. So these guys can dig very, very long extensive burrows, which I think is really, really cool. Now, gopher tortoises are diurnal. They only come out of their burrow during the day to eat and bask in the sun. And overall, they spend about 80% of their life in these burrows. Now, uh, other cool things about them, just to go over some physical features with you guys. This top part of the shell right here is actually called the carapace, which is an extension of their spine. And then something uh, really cool about tortoises also, and just turtles in general, is on the carapace are these little individual sections on their carapace called scoots. Now a common myth that I like to debunk when it does come to tortoises or turtles is if you look very, very closely, they have these individual rings on all these little scoots. And a lot of people think that if you count those rings on a tortoise or turtle shell, that that kind of indicates the age. Well, it's actually not true at all. The only way that you'd be able to tell how old a tortoise or a turtle was is if you knew them from the day that they hatched. And then last but not least, what I want to go over with you guys is just going to be the difference between a tortoise and a turtle but there are exceptions to every rule. So the first one is actually going to be their shell. Tortoises, like gopher tortoises, they have this very uh, nice dome-shaped shell versus your turtles. They actually have a sleeker uh, flatline shaped shell that allows them to quickly move through the water. Um, another one is actually going to be their diet. So tortoises are actually herbivorous, like I said in the very beginning. Uh, they only eat plants versus your turtles. They actually have an omnivorous diet. So they'll eat things like uh, crabs, shrimp, fish, um, aquatic vegetation like algae and other stuff like that. And then last but not least is actually going to be their feet. 
So with tortoises like these guys, they actually have these cute little elephant-like feet. In this case, it's meant for digging. It's not really meant for swimming at all. They don't have any webbed toes whatsoever. Versus your turtles, as you guys probably know, they have webbed toes that allow them to quickly move through the water. That is all the cool facts that I have for you guys about gopher tortoises. So with that being said, I'd like to say happy belated gopher tortoise day that actually passed this past April 10th. We have a whole day dedicated to these little guys right here. And also happy belated Easter from Dolly, Loretta, and of course Hank is going to be sitting right over there next to our little green iguana, Savannah. But other than that, I hope you guys stay safe and thank you for joining me on this little gopher tortoise chat.